the CESA Joint Undertaking, SJU, has launched large-scale demonstration projects to show the benefits that CESA solutions can bring to aviation in Europe. The projects unite the skills and innovative capabilities of a wide range of ATM stakeholders from across Europe in order to test CESA solutions in a variety of real operational environments. As part of the CESA large-scale demonstration program, Air Traffic Control Netherlands, or LVNL, has demonstrated benefits of single remote tower services for complex, medium-sized airports, as well as multiple remote tower services for a combination of medium-sized and small-sized airports serving business and general aviation. Many of Europe's regional airports are struggling with cost efficiency. The remote tower technology development enables these regional airports to deliver the same level of air traffic services at lower costs. The remote tower technology also allows for a more efficient use of air traffic control staff. In September 2016, ATC, the Netherlands, LVNL, together with its partners, the Netherlands Aerospace Center, NLR, KLM Flight Academy, Groningen Airport Elder and Saab, performed remote tower demonstrations of Elder Tower at the Schiphol Remote Tower Center. LVNL also demonstrated that air traffic services can be provided to two airports simultaneously, one being Groningen Airport Elder. The second airport, Maastricht Aachen Airport, was simulated with NLR's NASIM real-time simulation platform. During the multiple remote tower demonstrations, Maastricht Aachen Airport was downscaled to a small-sized airport to keep traffic levels acceptable. The project built on the results of CESA-1 and investigated whether the remote tower technology is suitable for highly complex medium-sized airports in both a single and a multiple remote setting. The trial was set up with the location of Groningen Airport Elder in the north and Schiphol Airport, 150 kilometers to the southwest. Groningen Airport Elder is a complex medium-sized airport with two crossing runways. Air traffic service at Groningen Airport Elder is provided by Air Traffic Control, the Netherlands. Groningen Airport Elder has a wide variety of customers, such as commercial airliners, general aviation and helicopters. One of the key users is KLM Flight Academy. For this demonstration, Air Traffic Control, the Netherlands, used the Saab remote tower system. The out-of-the-window view consisted of nine screens in landscape mode. All necessary operational systems were installed, such as voice comm system, air traffic situation picture, and flight data system. NLR provided a real-time simulation of Maastricht Aachen Airport. We used the NLR ATC research simulator NARSIM to provide a realistic human-in-the-loop simulation scenario for Maastricht Aachen Airport. This included a, a full out-of-the-window view. We also added specific remote tower features to our simulator, such as a fully functional pan-tilt zoom camera option, which allows for projection of a picture-in-picture -picture image on the outside view and can be controlled via a touchscreen panel for semi-automatic operation. Aircraft movements in the simulated system uh, were carried out by pseudopilots. The main driver is cost efficiency, but there are more benefits such as a larger possibility for on-demand capacity, which could improve availability for non-scheduled flights, such as medical flights. The aerodromes could also get access to new technology installed in an RTC that improves safety that usually would be too expensive to implement in the ordinary tower. The regional airports LVNL control are all medium-sized complex airports with their own unique characteristics. These trials aim to investigate whether or not it's feasible to control these complex medium-sized airports or even two airports at the same time with the use of remote tower technology. During the active shadow mode trials, air traffic control was provided from the RTC while a backup crew was available at Elder. 
Today's tests showed us that remote tile technology works, the concept works, so we're very pleased with the results of today's trials. Uh, I think we did demonstrate that remote tower technology is feasible at medium-sized airports. All in all, I think these trials were, were great and uh, we're looking forward to uh, future developments. The development of low-cost solutions is important for the dissemination of remote tower concepts to small airports across Europe. CESAR. Seeing is believing.